Well, howdy, boys. I know a lot of you guys are curious about this 21, how it's serving me. Uh, phenomenally, guys. I absolutely love it. I love this. <laughs> it's funny as it sounds, but man loves this truck. What can I, what can you do? Uh, so, this 21 has 5,000 miles on it. I figured I'd pull over and make a video of it. Here we go. 5,000 miles. 5,035 miles. Um, as far as this 21, if you're new to the channel, I've uh, I've personally owned a 14 and a 19. I have multiple of those Ford Gens. I have quite a few Ford Gens in my fleet. I have racking up now quite a few fifth gens in my fleet i'm no stranger these trucks man i feel comfortable around them but when i personally drive a truck it's you know it's personally my truck and i absolutely love it absolutely love these trucks um going from a 19 to a 21 what have i noticed i noticed the the tuning is a little different i feel like the 19 they try to make it more reactive to the to the pedal where this one they said screw it it's just going to be a good old coming it's going to be reserved but it's going to be once it locks and loads it, it, it's going so that's what that's the attitude this tune has um just for a reference if you're a ford guy you're rolling up to one of these new trucks they don't have a chance these new rams don't have a chance with the ford in a roll race let's say a 21 ford versus a 21 ram and y'all gonna say why the heck did you buy a truck talking about drag racing i'm just saying it's not a very responsive truck it's slow and steady it don't give a rip what you put behind it i've towed two vehicles on a gooseneck two suvs gooseneck i don't know probably sixteen thousand pounds behind it and it just doesn't care this truck doesn't care absolutely loves it um i'll try to do a video one of these days if once i'll be towing something heavy again um but guys I'm trying to make a quick video, a quick review of an owner review. I ain't no salesman of this truck. Obviously, it's a mega cab. I want to show you what I got in the back. Uh, my kids uh, uh, absolutely love this truck. So, with that in mind, uh, what is there not to love, you know? The reason I think I like this truck so much are primarily two things compared to my 19. My 19 was a crew. This is a mega cab. So, my family's more comfortable a little bit more room when we're traveling that is a big plus for for particularly the mega cab versus the crew another one is i like what they did with the 21 they gave you the cp3 they gave you the better tuning they gave you the more reserved tuning but it does pack a, a harder punch once it gets going um so yeah you know it's just sometimes i wish it reacted better but once again it is quick enough don't get me wrong it ain't no slouch but I'm just talking from cruising to all of a sudden let's let's roast tires. That's not happening. It's cruising. You gave a throttle. It, it's it's reserved. It's the best way I could explain it. So with that in mind, uh, just trying to tell you, and you're gonna say why? Because <laughs> sometimes I want to get going. Uh, a little review. What I did, I uh, hooked up a little switch here. Inflate, deflate. Obviously the airbags uh, are flat. There ain't no air in the reserve tank in the back, but I put this on the truck. I put a tank, SMB tank. Let me show you guys how it looks. It does hang a little lower, and you could tell it sits lower. You see that little plug there that you can drain. Um, I did me a little hookup here, a little quick connect. I need to find a little cover for it. <laughs> I just found some uh, something some packaging hanging outside so taped it on there and you can tell it's already a little dirty so i hope the thing isn't rusted to crap but nevertheless we'll we'll figure out the coverage issue on that uh under the hood there's nothing crazy but i did ask add a add a smb intake um guys i gotta do a video on that smb absolutely good product it's that sweet metal best bang for your buck um they do it properly, you know, they keep the cold air coming cold. They don't have a filter exposed here to suck up all the hot air. I like it. You know, is it worth the money to each their own? But to me, it's a no-brainer. As you can tell, this truck only has 5,000 miles on it, and I have all these things on it. So my idea is to hold on to this truck as long as possible. A lot of boys are laughing, but I'm honestly going to try to do that. Um, so for... 
for me to do that, I can't give myself any reason to, to get rid of it. it. It sounds funny, but it's just who I am, how I am. So from the get-go, I ordered everything I wanted in my truck. So this truck has pretty much everything besides I still haven't made up my mind on wheels. I like that Ram started giving us an outlet in the back. The next to it, it's a seven-way RV hookup thing for my gooseneck's. Um, it has this little kick. Guys, I got it in my 19 by accident. I don't really care for it in my 19. In my 21, I absolutely love it. I guess I'm getting old, so that's why I like it. I'm only 30, but whatever. Anyways, guys, as far as 5,000 miles, what kind of issues have I had with it? None. Absolutely love this truck. Um, but yeah, wish I could tell you some crazy story and uh entertain y'all but there's really nothing to it uh, help me lord put at least three hundred thousand on this truck i mean i do drive a lot uh i'm noticing through the years i'm starting to drive less and less i'm more involved with other things around the company than driving putting out fires i guess i'm a better uh fire preventer now than a firefighter but anyways boys you know put it in the comment section i would reply when i have time and as always may the lord bless you and may y'all have a mighty fine day. Ciao. Bye.